Hello everyone, welcome to 6th video on implementing Twitter API. In the previous video, we worked on process.php. In this video, we'll work on index page. So this index page will be our main page. This page will deal with uh, creating a request, sending a request and uh, receiving response and displaying the information. We'll also refer to the index page which we have created in our simple project, that is the previous project. Uh, because we'll be having few similarities, so we will be referring that page as well. We'll go to our project folder and we'll create a new file, index. So let's uh, start a session using session start function. Next, we'll include the authorization files, just like we did in uh, process.php. So we can just copy this content. Now we'll open our HTML tags here, as we'll be placing uh, the response we want to display uh, in the HTML body tag. So let's uh, open HTML. So for title, we'll give an optional title, like uh, Twitter API and we'll also keep the option for style now let's create a division tag because it's always uh, better to place the data we want to display in a division so let's create a div tag let's uh, give it id as content Let's uh, remove this tag. So in the content uh, division, we'll open our PHP tag. Now the first thing we'll do is we'll try to check the status of session on session here. So we'll do that by using an if condition. So the session as in the status of session is verified in the process file. And uh, if the value of session is verified, then it's redirected again to index page with verified status. So let's write if is set Let's go to process file. So here, when uh, in the else if condition, when the when the user is authenticated, and when the HTTP code is 200, so the session status is verified. So here, the request variable, the request variable uh, array will hold the values for access token. So there are two values, two important values which we can re retrieve from request variable array. Those are screen name and Twitter ID. There are other variables as well, like uh, O-authorization token and O-authorization token secret. So in the next step, we'll retrieve these variables from the request variable array belonging to session. So let's create a new variable as a screen name. And we'll uh, initialize it as session. request similarly we'll retrieve a twitter id let's copy
we will be placing our entire code for the successful session under in the if condition so now we need now we need to initialize our keys and secret uh, token values so for that we'll refer to the older index page from the simple project so we'll go to the simple folder and we'll copy this setting array exactly as it is and we'll paste it in our uh, index page now let's talk about the elements we want to display in our page so when user logs in using our script then we will display user information we'll display profile banner we'll display list of tweets list of followers and uh, in the end we'll provide an option uh, through which user can post a tweet for each specific uh, element we'll be needing respective urls so let's create variables for the urls and then we'll fetch the urls from twitter api documentation so let let's create variable as uh, user show for displaying user information and profile banner for holding the value of profile banner image and then we'll create a variable as followers list then we'll create a variable as tweets and a variable for posting tweet now let's get the resource urls from twitter api documentation so for user show this will use this will be used for showing user information profile banner and user uh, user timeline status and followers list and in the post method for posting a tweet we'll use update status so let's copy the respective resource urls Now let's initialize the variables for get method and post method. So now we'll set the variable for get field. Or get field will be adding the parameters for the request we send. So let's create get field and uh, let's initialize it as screen name and let's uh, we'll get the variable value from the session the local session variable so let's check so this will be the variable we'll be needing so let's copy and let's and we'll add one more additional attribute as uh, count In the previous implementation, we randomly provided a screen name. That is, we randomly provided a username here. But uh, for this implementation, we are actually extracting the username from session variable. So when the user logs in, that user's uh, username will be used here as the screen name. Now we'll be executing the Twitter API exchange function, just like we did in the previous implementation. So you can refer to the previous uh, index file and we'll copy the code related to initializing and uh, executing a request so we'll copy this code so we'll add a comment here for our convenience so that it will be easy for us to differentiate uh, the different uh, codes for request so first uh, we'll be writing the uh, we'll be editing this code for user information so let's write user info so we'll change the variables here uh, set get uh, get field will be the same 
and we'll change the URL variable so this will be our URL variable and we'll change the response variable we'll write user show response so now the response received for uh, this request will be stored in the user show response variable we can use that variable to display the user information similarly we'll execute the request for other resource urls now now we'll uh, execute uh, the request for the list of tweets because uh, the list of tweets and the user information both of these resource urls can have the same get field variable so now we'll execute the request for list of tweets we can just copy this code again and we can change the variables so now uh, we'll be we will need to change the url variable as tweets and we'll change the response variable as tweets response now we'll try to display these two elements only and later on we'll move on to the other elements so let's uh, retrieve profile image url like we did in the previous implementation so we'll create url profile pic and we'll extract the profile image url from user show response so we can copy this variable and we'll just and here profile image url so profile pic variable will be holding the url for profile image now let's start uh, displaying information i have added few comments so let's try to display information using echo will provide welcome text as well for username so let's write now for displaying user information we have to refer to the variable uh, which holds user information that is uh, user show response for Understanding the elements involved in this response, we can refer to the API documentation. We can go to the get users show and in the example response, we can find the elements uh, name. So the, these are the name of elements that is the name, screen name, location, profile location, description, URL and followers count, friends count, created at so you can uh, use these elements now we'll write the code for displaying uh, user information so let's write echo h4 that is a heading 4 let's uh, display the name first so we'll write echo name we'll get the variable name later first we'll add all the elements we want to display and uh, in the end we'll place a row let's add one more element as uh, screen name So this variable user show response uh, holds the values for all the elements so we have to extract each values individually depending on the element name so for name we can search name 
similarly we'll retrieve all the other values so let's just copy So for screen name, we'll go for we'll go to the example response. We'll copy this element. For location, for information, that is the description. For the followers count. This is the followers count. For following count, that is the friends count. And for tweets count. The status is count. That, that will be the number of tweets. Now for list of tweets, we can use the for loop. Uh, just like we did in the previous implementation so you can refer to the previous index file and we can copy this code we just need to change the variable names now so tweets response holds uh, the list of tweets so we'll change this to that and also we'll change the profile pic url so this this is a variable Now let's get to the else part of uh, this if condition. We'll check if the value of session is expired or not. And if it has, then we'll provide user with an option to log in again. So let's write else part. So here we'll provide a login option. We'll redirect the control to process.php because uh, process, process file will deal with uh, authenticating the identity of user so we'll write echo and we'll write anchor tag So here in the anchor tag, you can either place a normal text or you can place an image or you can place a button. So I'll be placing an image. I've got this image from sign in Twitter uh, API documentation. So this is the image. So once you save it and you can copy it to your project directory, I've already copied it. I've created a folder images. I've got this image here. So you can use this image for displaying it as a login option now let's write image we'll open the source tag and we'll write images the name of image that is a login it's a png file now let's save the file and we'll try to run it on our local system so it provides user with an option to sign in so this is the authorization page here you can use your ID and you can log in so as you can see it's a uh, redirecting you to the application so this is our response our profile image the welcome text and the user information and the list of tweets in the next video we'll try to retrieve and display the profile banner image we'll display the list of followers and we'll provide an option to post a tweet